Hi, it's Gary from GAN Railroad. In today's video, I'm going to show you my shelf layout that goes around the top of the room. Uh, I had to rebuild it, and I'll show you why in the video. I'll show you the finished product. And uh, I don't have so much video of me actually doing it, but uh, you'll, you'll see some of that. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, see the shelf up here? This is a, you can see up there, there's the track. This is a shelf, what I call shelf layout. Obviously that's because of the door, so that's why it goes up like that. But all the way around, most of the wood, as you can see here, is, see how it's warped? I originally thought I could get away with one by, one by fours, and I needed one, one by eights. It's actually, they're a little shorter, so they're really seven inches. And I only have these, these brackets here, three inches. So I got new brackets here, five inches. There it is right there, five inches. That covers more of it, uh, and more of the wood. So what I'm gonna do is, let me show you. All right, I have this piece of plywood left. This was the top of my platform. It's called uh, 1932s, that's the thickness of it. It's just below three quarters. Um, so I'm going to cut this into strips, into seven inch strips. I need one, two, three, four, five. I need six seven inch uh, strips. So this should give me six. And uh, one will be long. Over here, I'm going to use. I use what's called a a, a Craig drill bit, which is you you could drill into an angle. Let me show you. Right there, you just drill in at an angle and uh, it allows you to connect these pieces together underneath these two pieces underneath so they can connect um it's spelled k-r-e-g craig, craig or craig uh so what i'm going to do is i'll take some scrap pieces and along the center there i'll use that because i have some uh station uh platforms that I could put on there. They're only a couple inches wide. They're not heavy, so that won't be an issue. So okay, one that. other thing I forgot to show you is that while the, the old wood is still on here, I'm just going to put these brackets on underneath. This way I don't have to worry about measuring them up and making sure everything's all even and all that. Just a lot easier this way. Just a quick quick tip. So let me get ready to do the rest. Okay, around the top of the room, if I back up here, you can see there's the regular layout and there's the layout up top, the shelf layout I call it. Um, some people refer to a shelf layout as your main layout. It was only more, no more than 30 inches wide. My, I should say top of the room layout. Obviously I had to make it a little go up here because of the door. As you can see I have some stuff up here. Um, the Christmas Story building flat from PTF Designs. There's the Lionel Santa stuck in the root chimney. Here's the uh, fireplace sound effect. Let's see. There you go. I put the switch underneath there so I could turn it on and off easier. And then I have uh, the Menards track going around. I have these three girder bridges. Two are fast tracks. So I had to get uh, fast track pieces there. Um, they call them fast, fast track transition pieces. I'll get it right. And back here is the uh, lighted coal station. And I decided to get a pyre here. I decided to kind of make a static display with that burning coal car. I just think it looks cool. Now I have to get another one just for running around the track. It's not as visible, especially with the lights on uh, right now. Because it's up higher, I should say. But you can see a little bit of it, but it just really looks neat. I know you have the bridge here that I do, did another video on where I weathered it with the uh, Woodland Express snow. I have a whole video on that. There's a that's just a line. That's the only plain line chief thing I have. It's a uh, Christmas train. Everything else I have is line chief plus or line 2.0 or uh, legacy. And I do have one MTH engine that I have to run conventional. It's a pretty cool engine. It has a little Christmas wreath on the front of it. Anyway, I'll go around to this corner. And that's the brand new Menards Christmas Diner. And there's a flagpole. I was going to get the water tower. Would not fit with the roof there. I'm glad I didn't pick it up. I'm glad I sold in person. 
at the Lionel store in North Carolina. And I took a pink foam and I painted it white. Give it sort of a snow effect there. You can see, you also have to raise it up because when you're down lower, you can't really see it from the track. So that lifted everything up. I did that with everything, except for the uh, coaling station. And I used the uh, Woodland Scenics, as you can see here, uh, base. Or I should say Woodland Scenics base. <laughs> Woodland Scenics um, track bed. And I spray painted it white. And because there's not ties uh, on the curve, there's not ties, there's, see how spaced apart the ties are? That allows it to rise up there. Well, rather than cut it, I just took a, some batting and put it in there to make it look like snow drifts. It's a lot easier. And uh, let me show you something. Okay, see those little humps right there? Right here? Right there? Right in there? This is 054 track. I didn't cut the Woodland Scenics track bed just because some people have questions about it. When you have all these ties here, it actually scrunches it down. It's not really noticeable. So if anybody has worries about using the Woodland Scenics track bed uh, on anything other than Menards, you shouldn't have a problem with the curling up. You don't have to cut it or anything. You just put it down, it works fine. And I decided to, along this spot that's 20 feet long to put, it, I got three Christmas, or winter themed, I think one's Christmas, uh, train platforms. That one lights up nice. This one, the light bulbs, see how they go underneath like that? It's hard to see them. So I wonder if I can get bigger light bulbs, but I put that there and then I have this one here. This is one I did a video on too, where I show you how you stick up lights and make those look like candy cane poles to get the wires down there. And you can see it from back here. What I mean, there's three of them there. And in this corner here, we have the icing station that works intermittently. You have to work on that. And it's a Christmas uh, store, Christmas hobby shop. That lights up the little drummer boy guy on there lights up. It's hard to see in a day. All right, one final thing that I did with the layout here, with the shelf layout is, I was having trouble with these trestles being stable and it's nice you can see through them, but uh, they, they move around and I just didn't like them there. I didn't trust them. So what I did was, as you can see, this batting is glued on there. Is I bought the Woodland Scenics foam, the graduating foam, like you go up to four degree incline, I guess. And you just put that down underneath the track. And it's already made so that it gradually goes up at the proper incline. And then I just put uh, some spray glue on the batting I bought at This is a batting I bought at Lowe's. It's got a little sparkle in it. Now I used Menards track, which is really strong. So right here it kind of ends because I ran out of it. And I did keep, uh, right here I kept the plastic piece. Another one here, right there. But the track's strong enough. So this was a, a great option. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. It's one of them things... The simplest thing you just never think of, you always get something in your head, well there's trestles and we use it on on these things. Now for this shelf layout, you don't really need to see through it. It's not On a lower layout, you might want trestles because you need to see the rest of the layout through, through it, but not for this. So this actually worked out better for me.
Okay, overall, I'm really happy with it. It gives me a third track. I have two loops on the regular platform you see behind me, and then up above I have that other one. I was afraid it was going to fail, and a train would fall off or some cars. It was dipping and all that, and I sh as I showed earlier in a video from the wood curling up. This is plywood. The corner pieces were three-quarter inch plywood. They shouldn't curl up, or they haven't yet. So I figured using regular plywood and getting bigger brackets... Uh, five inches instead of three inch would work right now it looks good it my back is killing me um because uh I, I was hunched over a lot uh, overall yeah it's done is it worth it yeah it's nice to have it looks nice it gives me a whole another layout up top a whole different world and i figured i'd put incorporate all the christmas stuff originally the california two of these would be california and then it'll go across the desert into las vegas i just wasn't feeling that it was too much too much to think about, and I already had a lot of Christmas stuff. Uh, if this thing does fail, if train falls off, or, or it starts warping again in a couple years, I will absolutely take the whole thing down. I'm not going to go up and redo it a third time. It's a lot more difficult with this tr uh, the layout here now. Before I did it, before the layout was even up, and it was easy to do just to go around a room, put everything up. It's not. my I'm all hunched over and everything, and... Uh, the, the space between, as you can see behind me, where the red bridge is, and I have those um, contact paper, look like clouds I put up there. That space there, um, I could use it like here. See the, see behind me, the, right there. The, I'm eventually going to get a um, background for that. But the space between that and the shelf layout doesn't leave me enough for a painting. Like I have, I have some of those Lero paintings. Let's see if I can find it right here. See that painting there? I think it's, I think it's Peter Lero's his name. I have some more of them. I ended up taking down when I put up the other background right there. Uh, that background is lower, but now that's higher. So it'll give me space to put hang stuff up. I won't use it for storage because I'd have to go up on a platform to get stuff off. So um, it just. If it, like I said, something falls off. If I leave something up there, I'm cleaning or whatever, and it falls off, that's my fault. That's not a failure of the of the of the shelf or the wood or the track or whatever. But if it gives me too many problems, I'll give up on it, take it down. It's just, I t I tell you, it's a, a lot to do. And I've seen people with videos; it's all they have in their house. God bless them. Doing it twice is enough. Uh, although it's worth having another layout, but especially for only a 14 by 20 room. So anyway, that's the layout. I hope you enjoyed the video of the trains going around. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, rate, subscribe, comment, and subscribe, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.